Zealander Bruce McLaren established his eponymous race group in 1963, entered the Formula One World Championship in 1966, however handled his first McLaren Orange Auto in the 1967 Can-Am Championship. The next year, Bruce's F1 Autos got the squeezed orange and birth to folklore. McLaren F1 comes back to those 50-year-old roots this year with its MCL 33, painted papaya spark with differentiating burton blue and cerulean blue. The group trusts you won't have the capacity to miss the number 14 and number 2 autos rising up out of the weeds they've been lost in for a long time while under Honda control. With little change in the controls past the approach of the radiance, the MCL 33 advances a year ago's MCL 32. Other than the radiance, the huge work included improving the motor compartment for the Renault control unit, the first run through in McLaren's 52 years in F1 that the group has utilized a Renault motor. There are two motor engineering theories in the game now, one utilized by Mercedes-Benz and Honda, the other by Renault and Ferrari. Pleasing the new accomplice implied updating the back of the auto, including the cooling design, gearbox ringer house zone, and back suspension. Fernando Alonso and Stoffel van Dorn proceed with their residencies with the Woking, England, group. Playing it careful following three years of frustrations, Alonso stated, I feel staggeringly energized, yet additionally anxious. I know exactly how critical this auto is to the group, and I simply trust that it conveys in the way we as a whole need it to. Executive Director Zach Brown will trust in this, too, so he can satisfy similar fans who requested of for that great papaya uniform. Thus he can conceal a greater amount of that paint under support logos. An inquisitive note on that Petrobras sponsorship, McLaren will really be utilizing fuel and grease items from the support it marked a year ago, BP Castrol, while Petrobras spends this year creating fuel and ointments for the group. The MCL 33 hits the track today for a film session, at that point starts eight days of preseason testing at the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya next Monday.